गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ सेंट थॉमस हाई स्कूल स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन ए बी सी डी इज अ कॉर्डिनेटरल इज ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी डी प्लस डी ए इज लेस देन टू टाइम्स ऑफ ए सी प्लस बी डी so here abcd is a quadrilateral what you have to prove ab plus bc plus cd plus da sum of all four sides is less than 2 times ac plus bd 2 times the sum of this both diagonal so here you have to consider the triangles one by one four triangles that is a A O B, then B O C, D O C, and A O D. Okay. And uh, in this triangle, first one A O B. So A B is less than O A plus O B. So if you will add these two sides, then sum of these two sides will be greater than this third side. Same you have to do. For other three triangles, second one B O C, so B C is less than O C plus O B. For this triangle, D C is less than D O plus O C. You can see here in the equations. Then last triangle, A D is less than D O plus O A. So here four equations you got. Ah, uh, this property that uh, sum of any two sides of triangle is always greater than its a third side then and then only triangle is possible now in all four equations add this left side over the left side and this right side over the right side in the middle less than sign is there so here in the middle you have to put the less than sign so here left part will be same throughout the example but on the right side two times this given uh, measurement of the side uh, name of the sides oa oa then ob ob oc oc od and od so this way you can write 2ao or oa plus 2ob plus 2oc plus 2ob this two you can take as a common so in the bracket it remains ao plus oc and the o plus ob now you can see in the figure ao plus oc here ao plus oc so this two sides if if you are going to add then it will be full ac this diagonal ac so you can write here ac and the o plus ob instead of that you can write d b okay so here it is written ac plus bd so this is only the equation that you want so at the end you can write hence it is proved next question number 6 the lengths of two sides of a triangle are 12 and 15 cm between what two measures should the length of the third side fall triangle in this two sides are given 12 and 15 you need to find out length of this third side so as per the property the sum of the length of any two sides should be greater than the third side so what you can do possibilities you are going to add 12 plus 15 you will get 27 so third side should be less than 27 because sum of two sides is always greater than uh third side okay so that is a 27 and uh, one more property is there the third side cannot be less than the difference of two sides so 15 minus 12 you'll get 3 so it should not be less than 3 or it should not be greater than 27 so the third side could be the length more than 
and less than 27. It means between 3 to 27. Okay. This is the answer. So, here exercise 6.4 is over. Next exercise 6.5 we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.